What's up, you two? Welcome to R3 Garage. And if you tuning in, I hope you stay throughout the whole video. Drop your input and thoughts down below. Don't be afraid. Let's communicate. Anyway, man, thank y'all for the 1K subscribers, family, garage. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't joined the garage, I hope you consider joining the garage. And uh, let's just grow and let's continue to love for our cars and to learn and just to have fun and just to experiment, uh, you know. But anyway, I am on my Turbo 5.3. Apparently, I'm having two issues. <clears throat> One issue is every time I go into boost, oil always spew all over on the passenger side. I thought it was my valve cover gasket, but it wasn't. Um, and I was thinking that it could have been other issues like uh, the crank sensor or the oil sender. But it's got to be coming from the dipstick to somewhere. But uh, in this video, I just was thinking that it was either those. Um, I was trying to get some oil dye uh, to sort it out, but I couldn't find the oil dye anywhere, which was kind of crazy to me. But and also our coolant, uh, coolant still having issues. So I'm thinking about running the same route uh, like the original style. And I'm going to be doing that later uh, tonight. Today is Friday, so I'm going to do that later on tonight. But these are videos from the past uh, couple days of what I was thinking and just trying to see what was what all right guys so i'm doing a test drive right now even after changing the valve cover gasket i'm smelling oil again so but as soon as i went into boost and stuff i smell oil i mean it's a trial run i think i just having too much crankcase pressure just that oil finding somewhere to uh, spew out at, so I just need a seat. So I'm just driving it around a little bit more. Temp still good for the coolant, so we got the coolant side figured out. We just need to get the damn oil side figured out. But she been driving amazing, good. Uh, like I said, transmission shifted like in all gears, you know, with no issues. Um, she drives amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to go by this uh, car wash where it got like bright lights and stuff, and I'm finna uh, check her out. I smell oil, so what I'm thinking about is getting it back to the house, probably pulling that starter off and uh, seeing if that one uh, sensor is leaking out. Oil pressure is dropping significantly. It's a learning process for me. Temp still doing good for the coolant, so let's just check um, this oil. All right, guys, as y'all can see, I got oil all right here. Oil all on that block right there. So it gotta be coming. Uh, I gotta pull that starter out to see. It's just weird. I still got oil, unless it's my rear main seal, which I pray it's not. But I changed my uh, valve cover gasket, so I'm just uh, working my way down on what it possibly could be. I know it ain't coming up top. I'm gonna check underneath. It's just so weird. Y'all see all that oil and stuff right there? It's, just, it's gotta be shooting some freaking where. I probably need to tighten up my uh, oil pan bolts too to make sure. So, that's the only issue I'm having thus far is this oil. I think I'm just having too much pressure on it. I'm gonna check to make sure I have no coolant either. 
I mean, I barely got coolant dripping compared to what it was before. So every time I put some pressure on this motor, I guess everything just expands and uh, contract and stuff. That's my only issue. I need to see where the hell that shit coming from. It's coming out somewhere. Either the front main seal or the side over here, it just ain't making no sense. <sighs> Alright guys, I think what I need to do is make sure all my bolts and stuff is tight. That's one thing. It looks like the oil is just dripping right here. And it's probably spewing everywhere and going towards the back. Look like we got some oil leaking up front. So I might need to make sure these bolts tight right here. Because all the pressure and all that could be going towards the, you know, the pan and all that. I know I told my tuner about it. Yeah, I think we I think we got an issue up front. And everything oily right here. Everything. I think it's I think it's a issue up front. If I have to take this whole thing off to change the front main cover, and I will do that, but damn. I wonder if I got me a 10 mil with me. I think I do want to make sure these boats tight. My intention of making that noise, but I'm going to drive it one more time and uh, check. I don't know if it's coming from like the front side. It's just a weird. Water Valley cover is perhaps pretty warm right there. Stop out of there. But it could be coming from anywhere. Kind of rinse everything down. I believe it gotta be, it might be coming from the front side because you got oil that's probably trickling down here. It's too weird. Possibly the val valley cover though. I'd be surprised. So guys, I am really trying to take my time to find this oil leak or potentially uh, to see where it's coming from. Um, but like I said, it would be hard if you don't have like no dye or nothing to use like uh, fluorescent light or whatever just to see uh, where it's exactly coming from. Now, after sitting and thinking, um, I always would uh, use brake, brake cleaner to clean the oil and stuff. And I would drive it and the areas that I spray would be dry. And then when I go in, you know, a little bit more. I had oil all over the place, front side of the motor, passenger side of the motor, and especially the transmission bell housing. Now you tell me how oil can get on all on the front side, right? On the passenger side and the back of the trans um, mission. Now, like I said, I thought it was my valve cover where we replaced that. And it can't be the crank sensor because I spray that area. It's not even wet around there. And it would have just been spraying on that one particular side. I wouldn't been seeing nothing on the motor. But you'd be surprised. Um, I checked the top side, which I probably um, insert a clip in a bit. And it's very wet in the back side. And I'm guessing when I go on boost, it just piss like everywhere. And... With the gravity and inertia and all that, it's just moving everywhere. And you really can't actually pinpoint because it looks like it's running. 
from the valley cover and down and trickling this way. Um, but man, she actually drive amazing. stretch right here if I ain't going Hey I'm gonna I'm gonna get her this video i love showing the flaws and stuff like this is my first turbo build and i'm learning from this uh, if y'all have any input y'all let me know um like i said i think we're just having too much crankcase uh trying to push it. i got an oil catch cam but i don't think it's even doing its job I might need to get some a, a damn motion work race can or <laughs> oil can or something but i'm limping her at home right now Ain't gonna push on her. Trans temp still staying like under 180, well over 180, under 180. I think I gotta get some more uh, trans fluid too, just in case. I ain't checked that yet, but I'm gonna have to check that. All right, guys. So today is Friday night. Um, the other the video y'all finna see is like from a couple days, and I'm still having the same issue. I'm getting oil gushing everywhere have it all like in front of that way it seemed like it's coming from the valve cover the valve cover and it's like trickling down um i had redid my oil catch can and my coolant uh temperature been staying at uh, uh under 210 and what i'm thinking about doing is getting rid of this and just running the hose straight i mean i wasn't getting Nothing leaky, but I do see little small drips and stuff, so I kind of will take care of that. Just nip that in the butt. Yeah, but I get all like right there, and then it's all right there. And then underneath, y'all can see the oil spot. Like I said, I gotta check my drain line too. But it's look like it's mainly on the front side. Hopefully it ain't like the whole front main still or nothing. All right, guys. So I'm looking on the back of the motor, and I know another common issue could be the oil sending unit, as you can see. So what? Now, I'm going to go to the auto parts store and get some oil dye um, and get like a fluorescent light or whatever to see where the trail is actually at. And then I'm going to push on her again. And we're going to figure it out. And then this is another take after I had really pushed on it. It's really wet on that backside. Really wet. <laughs> 